Hey guys, this is Martin again and we are in the web mini series around most useful penetration testing and bug bounty hunting tools. Today we are going to take a look at something called the Wayback Machine. So some of you may be familiar with the Wayback Machine, but what it basically is, you can put in any domain name, like say cisco.com, right? And then you can browse the history of that specific website. So you can see here, like if you want to go back to 2001, for example, and then see how, how it was looking like, how the Cisco website looked at uh, on, the, on January 6th, 2001. And then you see this was the old Cisco website, right? Like fantastic. The internet doesn't forget anything, right? And now how is this useful for us as bug bounty hunters, as penetration testers? Um, it comes in very useful because um, very often you might say, well, Martin, why, why are we looking at a page from 2001? Everything has changed since, right? Like y yes and no, right? And the reason why I say no here um, is because sometimes websites out there um, have been changed over time, undoubtedly, but they may still have parameters and they may still have endpoints which are no longer visible on the current website, but they may still be active. So what I'm saying is maybe there was another login functionality and there was a login PHP and then they have changed the front end and the back end, but the login PHP is still active or when it comes to API endpoints or stuff like that. They have decommissioned version one long time ago because now we are on version two or we are on version three. But Wayback Machine basically still is able to, um, to give you all these endpoints, right? And then I'm not saying all of them are working. Like in, a, in, a, in an ideal scenario, they should not work anymore. Like if the developers have done their job right. But typically what you find, a lot of these older things which are still um, visible and haven't been decommissioned may be full of bugs and may be very useful for us as penetration testers and bug bounty hunters. So this is why Wayback Machine is like a very cool tool um, to use. And then there is a, uh, a little script which you can download here on GitHub again from Tom Nom Nom. Um, it's called Wayback URLs and basically this is, this is automating that process, like rather going through the web GUI, what I've just shown you, you can basically automate the process here. You can simply install this like with a Go installer and then you can do cat domains and then um, pipe that into the Wayback URLs, like pipe the domains into the Wayback URLs and then basically write them into a, a URLs.txt or URLs file, right? And then, and then from there, you can further automate this with repeater, uh, with intruder in burp and things like that. And it's surprising what you find sometimes, right? So I, I would not miss out. I do, would not want to miss out on Wayback URLs. I hope this makes sense. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I see you in the next one.